Hello, I'm Georgia Stull, and I'd like to demonstrate how to locate, load, and delete patterns from within projects in Creative Studio. You see that I have Creative Studio open on the screen, but I'm not going to have a lot of fun because I don't have any patterns. Let's see how easy it is to add patterns to our projects. Notice on the left-hand screen, this is our project properties area. This is my preview pattern area. All I need to do is move to this icon. It looks a bit like a piece of paper with a plus sign. If I select that icon, then my open pattern file appears. Notice it says look in. Generally, it will look in the last place that I looked for patterns. I'm working in standalone mode, so my patterns are being found on my thumb drive. If you don't have patterns in the same area, you would want to slide over to the right until you get to this arrow and it's highlighted. Click on it and now you see that you basically have a map to your entire computer. If you had patterns on your desktop, this is where you would look. If patterns are on your thumb drive, as mine are, this is where you would look. If they're on your C drive, if you're on your Statler, that's probably where you're going to look in your C drive. In my case, let's slide on down to this removable disk and, oh, right away I noticed that I thought I had two folders of patterns, but only one folder appeared. Well, now I remember why. Because one of my folders is a zipped folder. And that's an important rule. If you have patterns that are within a zipped folder, you can't see them and you certainly can't access them to add them to your projects. Let's look in our pattern folder that we do have. Notice when I click on a pattern that I'm able to get a preview and get a sneak peek at what it looks like. I can actually look at several patterns quite quickly by using the directional keys on my keyboard. Let's use the down key and see how I can get a quick peek at all the patterns. So how can I literally add patterns to the project? I can choose the pattern and choose the select key and there it is right in my pattern selection box. Or I could choose the pattern and I can double click it and yes, it appeared right in my box. What if I needed to add, oh, five more patterns? I don't want to do them all one at a time. I can actually multi-select. Choose the first pattern, hold down the control key. It's in the lower left corner of your keyboard. Hold that control key down and continue selecting patterns. Notice how they are all colored and that means they are all being selected. Now, what if I thought, I really don't want to add this one. While I continue to hold the control key, if I click on that one now, notice it's deselected and it will not appear in my pattern selection box. Let's click select and there they are, all of my patterns. It is important to note that if you want to load patterns in multiples from your thumb drive, they must be within a folder on your thumb drive. It will not allow you to add them just in your thumb drive. They must be in a folder on your thumb drive. Once I've selected every pattern that I need, I simply select done and the open pattern file disappears. Now, what if I decide I really don't want this pattern? All I have to do is select that pattern Go to the icon that looks a bit like a piece of paper with an X in it, select that. It asks me, are you sure you want to remove the pattern? Yes, I do, and the pattern is gone. It's important to note that you can only delete patterns one at a time. You cannot multi-delete like you can multi-add patterns. I hope you have found this tutorial to be helpful. Thank you very much.